Hi there and welcome to the channel. My name's Keith Mason. In this video I'm going to calibrate my monitor for the first time. As a landscape photographer, um, being able to see and um, edit your pictures to be accurate as you see them and to be able to publish and print your photographs with the colours true to how you see them is really important and consequently uh, calibrating your monitor is an important part of that. Some people are colourblind. Some people see colours differently than other people. For example, I have a shirt that I think is green, uh, but the rest of my family all think it's blue. It may be a bluey green or a greeny blue, but it doesn't really matter. We see colours differently than one another. Our cameras record colour. If you allow them to, cameras will make a white balance decision based on what they what the camera sees if a scene is very blue the camera will think um, probably the real scene isn't that blue and it will adjust the white balance to make it a little bit more orangey and that's fine until such time as you want to record the picture with the colors that you see and so the accuracy of recording colors is in some way variable if you use a raw uh, if you capture images using a raw file you can change the white balance in post-production and it really doesn't matter if you're uh, shooting in jpeg the white balance makes a big difference because you aren't going to be able to change that later of course you're watching this video either on your phone or a tablet or on a tv and the manufacturer will have set a color cast uh, a white balance and a tint um, depending on what it feels is the right colours. And you may be able to adjust that. My Apple computer allows me to have a daytime colour cast and a nighttime one. It's bluer during the day and it's warmer during the night. But that's a problem when it comes to processing photographs. If our eyes process colours differently, if we see colours differently, if our cameras records colours differently, and if our screens vary based on manufacturers or some other thing, how do you know what true colour is? So what is true colour? Does it matter? True colours can be recorded, analysed and articulated using a system, um, a numeric system to record accurately what color a color is and there are various systems that you can use to render color truly in photography we usually use srgb red green blue and we express a color with how much red there is how much green there is how much blue there is and it's a number we can adjust it so what should you do about it in the field i want to make sure that the colors that i record accurately um, represent what I can see with my own eyes. And so I will set a, a selected white balance based on what I can see, either by using a gray card or a white card, or just adjusting the Kelvin based on my eyes. For example, I took this picture over the weekend. The picture on the left was taken with the auto white balance set, and the one on the right uh, I set the, the Kelvin, I set the white balance. Um, and I adjusted it because when I looked and checked the, um, the picture on the camera, on the camera screen, it looked far more blue and purple than perhaps it should have been. And so I was able to adjust the Kelvin um, in my camera to make it look like the scene that was actually ahead of me. And I'd always suggest that uh, you should set your white balance in location according to what the actual scene is like. It's really important therefore that I process on a screen that accurately conveys the colors that are recorded in my image. So calibrating my monitor is something that I really should have done a long time ago. So let's get on to that. So I've recently bought this Data Color Spider X Pro and uh, I'm going to walk through um, setting it up and doing the first uh, calibration of this monitor. 
This monitor is a BenQ GW2780. Not an expensive monitor, uh, but does what it needs to do for me. So I've got this, we open the box. Uh, the first thing it says is that I've got to download some software. Uh, and I'm going to download the software from here. Uh, I need to get uh, the Mac software, which I've done here. Uh, I am going to go into downloads and there's the um, software. So we're going to upload it and you probably don't need to see this bit. So I've um, installed the software and uh, let me see if I can run it and see what happens. Let's see where it is. Oh, it's not there. It's somewhere hiding. It says it's doing something. Please make sure your spider sensor is plugged in to your USB port before continuing. So there you go. Which of these don't I need? I don't need that. Okay, so I've plugged it in, putting in the license code. <sighs> uh, so I've registered and it's just checking for upgrades. Are you willing to share calibration data? No, I don't want to do that. And it's checking for updates. Okay, so now we're ready uh, to run it. Uh, right, um, have you warmed up? Yes, this screen has been going for a while. Lighting, have you checked that no intense light is falling directly on your display screen? Yes. Have you reset your monitor settings? Yep. And plug the spider into the computer, uh, into a computer USB port, not into a hub or a keyboard. Okay. Well, that's the first thing. I don't actually have a USB port in my computer, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, right, so I'm going to pick the BenQ um, monitor. The application window will be moved to the display bank unit. Please be sure that the display is turned on before continuing. Yes, okay. I don't. So it's asking if I can change the brightness or the Kelvin. I don't think I can ch uh, change the um, temperature of the screen, but let's have a look here. No, I can't do that. So that's good. Um, I don't know why the LED. Please select the backlight. Uh, I think this is. I've looked this up before, I think this is a wide LED. And full calibration, okay. Place the spider on the desk. Room light is very high. These levels are not recommended. Well, except the recommended. Please stay at your computer after the click. This application will take a few measurements and then wait for you to adjust the brightness control. Okay, let's place the spider here. So, if I'm right in thinking, we put the spider over here. Move that out of the way. Okay, so I've just tipped the screen back a bit to make sure that the spider is in close contact with the um, with the screen, and I'm going to press press next. So frankly, I don't know how long it's going to take. Click the update button to measure the screen brightness. Okay. So here we're going to try and make the screen brightness uh, reduced. So 
Okay, I don't know if you can see me, uh, but I've had to ch turn my light off so that it will uh, be in the right area uh, for... It's, it's now going on and doing it. Spider, the spider has got trapped. So it's given me an option to um, give it a name, which I've done, and um, uh, so this is. I don't know if you would be able to see this. This is the uncalibrated version, uh, and it looks a little bit warmer. Uh, than the final one. So, uh, so to bring this video to an end, so it would seem that since I've been using this monitor, I have prob my monitor has probably been a little bit warm, and consequently I probably made uh, my edits a little bit colder than they should be, um, because I'm compensating for the slightly warmer um, cast that the screen has done. Now it's fully mon. Uh, now the screen is is uh, calibrated. I should be able to better record the colours uh, in my edits, and consequently, hopefully, when I print the pictures, I'll get better outcomes. I'm going to go back and have a look at uh, some pictures that I made earlier and see if they need any adjustment. So this is a picture that I took at Panath Pier, and um, this is. I was, I was really pleased with this picture. Uh, it really captured what I was trying to get. And uh, I've edited it in the last couple of days on the original profile for this monitor. And um, I'm quite pleased with the, how the picture looks. And I don't know if you're gonna see this um, on, uh, on your screen, but uh, if I switch to the new profile, the more accurate profile, you can see that the uh, colours are probably a little bit bluer than I would um, than I had made them in the original picture. So calibrating your monitor is really important. I'm going to go back to editing this one to get back to where I thought it was before I calibrated my monitor. I hope you found this useful and if you have please give it a thumbs up uh, maybe consider subscribing and uh, hope to see you on the next one thanks for watching and bye for now